The magnificent Arc de Triomphe in Paris has sat as a silent witness to the city's best and worst times ever since it was finished in 1836. On our second trip to Paris, we did include a climb up this amazing monument, and I'm so glad we did. We had skipped it on our first visit. We actually spent a very long day on this particular day. We went to see a market, and then we walked through the Carnavalet Museum, and then we went to the Louvre, and then we took a metro about halfway up the Champs-Élysées, had lunch, and then continued to walk up to the Arc de Triomphe, and then climbed the 284 steps to the top. And this is much larger than I thought. I think I didn't have any sense of really how big this is. It is 164 feet tall, 148 feet wide, and 72 feet deep, with the main vault being 96 feet high. There is an elevator you can take up to the level of the museum and the gift shop on the Arc de Triomphe and then you have like 40 steps left to climb up to the actual top. But the sign on the elevator said it was quote, only for those who need it. So we decided to go ahead and take the stairs and that is quite a hike. Even if you're in pretty good shape, you will probably for sure need to stop for a break a couple of times on the way up and the way down, which was surprising. And no one will judge you. Uh, we actually passed people quite a bit younger than us stopping for a breather themselves. So um, keep that in mind it is a stairmaster trip the ark here is maybe one of the most famous and recognizable military landmarks in the world with construction started by napoleon himself actually on his birthday in august of 1806 it took 30 years to complete and cost an estimate of 75 million dollars of today's money napoleon did not live to see the ark finished it was still under construction in 1810 when he brought his second wife marie louise of austria to france but he had it finished as a wooden mock-up model so they could see it on their entry into Paris. His funeral cortege in December of 1840 did pass under the finished arc. This monument honors those who fell in the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars, and it has reliefs of six major moments from that time period sculpted on the outside, as well as the names of 158 French victories and 660 military leaders engraved on the inner facades. Any names that are underlined are those of men who died in battle. To commemorate the end of hostilities at World War I in 1919, a biplane was actually flown through the central vault, which you can see in old photos. And beneath the Arc de Triomphe lies the tomb of France's unknown soldier from World War I. And I was interested to learn that at 6.30 p.m. every night since November 11, 1923, a silent ceremony takes place here, honoring the tomb of the unknown soldier and relighting the flame. And you can see this for free if you're here at the right time. The Arc sits basically at the confluence of 12 great boulevards that come together, centering on a crazy roundabout that you can see from above. Formerly named Place de l'Etoile for the star shape these avenues create, it is now called Place Charles de Gaulle, I like the old name better, but it is amazing to stand up here and watch the crazy 12 avenues of traffic coming into this roundabout in just sort of what looks like a traffic free-for-all. If you think you know how to drive roundabouts, this one is like a master class. We also love to hire a 2CV car tour on our first nights in Paris and I would highly recommend doing this, but just take it in part just to have them drive you around this roundabout and watch the bumper to bumper, basically door ding traffic game of chicken that you play on this roundabout. It's sort of insane and I've heard that this is the only place in Paris or possibly in France where the insurance companies consider any accident that happens at this roundabout to be equal fault, where both drivers in the situation will be considered at fault and the insurance companies split the damage 50-50. It was really amusing to watch this level of craziness from above and this traffic is like this all day, every day. There sort of doesn't look like there's any rules except maybe just go if you can. We stayed here for quite a while just watching the traffic below us. The views from the top of the Arc, though, are so worth the climb, whether you do the stairs or the elevator. For a history nerd, the Arc de Triomphe is really just amazing to see. It's, it's this giant monument from Napoleon's time. It definitely feels like a glimpse back to another age, sitting sort of right in the middle of all of this modern crazy traffic. But it's gorgeous and glorious and enormous. It's definitely worth being added to your bucket list when you visit Paris. From the top, you can see the arc is part of a long axis that is created starting at the large arc in the modern city center that is called La Défense. It runs through the Arc de Triomphe, down the Champs-Élysées, through the Place de la Concorde, through the Tuileries Garden, and ends in the beautiful courtyard of the Louvre. If you're planning a visit, you need to be aware if you walk up the Champs-Élysées like we did and you want to get over to the Arc, do not, for the love of everything, try to walk out across the traffic. Do your homework before you get there and they're a little hard to find as we realized even though we knew there was an underground tunnel, hard to find, there are two of them. 
Um, they are somewhat marked. There's signs you can look for, but if you come up the Champs-Élysées on the opposite corner, on the right-hand side as you walk up, there is a tunnel that goes under, and there's one on the opposite side of that, I think on the Avenue de la Grande Armée, and you can take an easy pedestrian tunnel under and come up under and out in the middle uh, under the arc, so it's do not go out into that traffic. As far as entry tickets, for our visit we got a timed entry ticket right off the website for I think about 16 euros, but definitely check the various museum and city passes for Paris. They will probably all include an entry to this historic monument. It would also be an amazing place to see the city from at night. You can go up as late as 45 minutes before closing in the late evening. Let us know if you've ever visited and did you take the elevator or the stairs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.